All right, let's go now to Sydney and get some analysis from Leonid Petrov. He's a senior lecturer at the International College of Management in Sydney and a visiting fellow at the Australian National University. Great to have you on the program with us. It seems unlikely that this is the first COVID outbreak North Korea has faced well over two years into the pandemic. Why do you think they're finally admitting now to an outbreak? Well, perhaps uh, we can attribute it to the uh, variant, particular variant of coronavirus. If it's Omicron, it's very contagious, uh, maybe less lethal, uh, but it's, uh, it can uh, spread out very, very quickly. We don't know what triggered that. And um, obviously, it, it becomes difficult for the North Korean regime to hide the fact that now the nation uh, is now suffering from this outbreak of the disease, which it has been claiming victory over uh, the last two and a half years almost. North Korea was the first country which shut the uh, borders uh, back in January year 2020. And for so far, it was, uh, it was very proud that there was no, not even one case of uh, coronavirus. We don't know exactly whether it's true or not. Uh, but uh, obviously, this time when 1.5 million people are sick and uh, suffer from uh, the symptoms, it's uh, very hard to deny and hide the truth. How equipped is North Korea to treat an outbreak of COVID or, or any outbreak uh, of an illness for that matter? Well, um, given that the North Korea well, was patterned after the uh, former Soviet Union, also relied um, on Chinese experience um, in, uh, in the development of its um, health system, um, it, it's not that bad, uh, even according to the World Health Organization, uh, North Korean health system is, um, has its own values, particularly in dealing with um, uh, endemic uh, diseases, in, in dealing with highly contagious diseases. So it's it designed to um, protect uh, the nation against the outbreak of, of cholera and, uh, and, and smallpox and, and other um, uh, diseases. It has never done, it has never dealt with uh, coronavirus. It deliberately was trying to avoid the very possibility of, um, uh, you know, facing the uh, this new uh, form of uh, contagious disease. It shut its borders. It, it stopped completely travel uh, for foreigners and uh, and locals uh, overseas. And even the importation of goods was uh, prohibited for a certain time. North Koreans even tried to clean the snow and not, didn't permit people to go to the beaches because they believe that the coronavirus could be transmitted with wind or, or waves of, of the sea. Well, it didn't work. And uh, obviously, um, um, the Omicron variant is probably doing what it can do. We see that uh, the number of deaths is uh, counted by dozens, uh, although the number of uh, people uh, who contracted it is uh, already in millions. Okay, we'll leave it there. Leonid Petrov joining us from Sydney. Thank you.